Princeton University professor of public policy Reinhard on Congress and health care reform. Now, should that table include a spot for insurers? I'm Pim Fox. This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. Delphi Financial Group sells workers' compensation and group life insurance for small and mid-sized employers. Robert Rosencrantz is Delphi's chairman, and he's also the principal of the Acorn and Pergamon families of investment partnerships and the private equity firm that bears his name. Robert Rosencrantz, thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate your time. <laughs> thank you, Pim. Um, talk a little bit about the whole debate that's going on now for health care and health care reform. Is it really a health care reform or is it a health insurance reform debate that we're having? Well, I think the uh, the insurance companies have been uh, scapegoated to some degree uh, by the administration in this debate. But I think the real issue is that our health care costs are out of control. As a country, we're spending about 15% uh, of GNP on health care compared to 9% for other developed countries. And we really have no better outcomes to show for it. So it's really much more of a cost problem than an insurance problem. So having said that, uh, do you believe that there are some things that the government should be doing or is doing that is going to address that problem specifically? Well, frankly, I don't think the uh, bill that's uh, pending addresses cost issues at all. I see them as driven by two uh, phenomena. One is the tax deductibility of employer-provided uh, health insurance. It's uh, it, it, it's a bad thing on two ways. One, it's unfair to people who are self-employed, who have to pay for their insurance with after-tax dollars, but also because it divorces buying health health care from uh, the, the paying for it. You really have no incentive as a consumer of health care uh, to worry about the costs. And Doesn't that strike you as bizarre as someone that's in, let's say, in the, in the insurance business? I mean, if you pay a premium, then you want to know what kind of coverage you're going to get, what kind of benefits you might actually get. There isn't an intermediary between you and the actual service. Uh, that's exactly right. And if you think about uh, other kinds of insurance, they're always adjusted for risk. If you're a teenager, you pay more for auto insurance. If you live by the beach, you pay more for uh, flood insurance. If you're a smoker, you pay more for life insurance. So the price of the insurance reflects the risk. But in health insurance, everybody in a community in most states has to pay the same. And the result of that is is that young people are really subsidizing their elders, and young people don't make as much money as their elders, so it's, it's doubly unfair. We wonder why we have so many uninsured. It's because the product is grossly overpriced for the young, and that's not because of the insurance companies. That's because of regulation. Now, is there any possibility, though, that you think you're going to get a bill that is going to actually address any of this, or are we just going to have to live with whatever we get? I'm afraid there has no, been no serious discussion of... Uh, of these kind of issues in Washington. Talk a little bit about the employee benefit uh, programs that you have at, at, at Delphi. How is business uh, doing right now? It seems as though it's at least stabilized. Well, we have have had a very good year this year. We've grown our uh, excess workers' compensation business very nicely, which is a substitute for buying workers' compensation insurance, as you probably know, is required uh, for all employers to provide to their employees. And and as employers are trying to save money, one of the ways they can do that is by self-insuring. But then they need a company like ours to deal with the more catastrophic events. So that business has done very well. We also have a life insurance business uh, related to group employee benefits, uh, group life, long-term disability, short-term disability, travel accident, group dental, and the like. And that business has struggled a little bit for growth. It's doing well in terms of net income, but hard to grow premiums in, a, in an environment where uh, uh, it's going to pay right down, now. of course. What about in the, uh, the annuity business? Because it seems as though at least many investors, after having lived through the debacle of their financial investments over the last, let's say, 24 months, are taking a renewed look at annuities. Yeah, we've sold actually $250 million worth of annuities this year. And 
we've, we could have sold a lot more had we wanted to, uh, but we wanted to be very cautious about uh, investing the proceeds that we would get from those sales until the market uh, situation clarified a bit. Now, it seems as though when you talk about the market clarifying itself, take a look at the fixed income portfolio that you have. It's done very well. Yes, it has. It's had a full recovery this year. In other words, almost all of the losses on a mark-to-market -market basis that we had at the beginning of the year have been recovered uh, at this point. Now, that's also shown up in the return on equity, right? Yeah, our return on equity this year, our equity this year is up about 40%. Uh, it's at an all-time high in terms of equity per share. It's an all-time high in terms of total company equity. And there are not too many financial institutions that have come through this crisis and can say that they're as strong, stronger than they were before it. Now, Robert, in addition to uh, running uh, Delphi Financial Group, you also are one of the sponsors of uh, what is called Intelligence Squared. Explain what that is. Intelligence Squared was an initiative of, of my own foundation, the Rosencrantz Foundation. And it uh, sponsors live Oxford Union debates. It's a live event in New York. We have panels that debate key issues, uh, contentious public policy issues. The audience votes on those issues, decides which panel has carried the day, and were distributed on 200 national public radio stations and also on Bloomberg and that Bloomberg Television. All right. I want to thank you very much. I uh, appreciate your coming in. Robert Rosencrantz, the head uh, of the Delphi Financial Group and also participating in Intelligence Squared, uh, initiating intelligent debate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Pim, pleasure being thank with you. you.